be a real install if everything went right. Well, Quick, fast, in a hurry. Get it done, get on. Here, step this in. Hold, 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 stop. One more. That's good. All right, hammer down. not going to get to mine any here today. I'm gonna, I got to make a few phone calls and see what uh, what direction we need to go. When you drill the well into the ground, oil and natural gas flow out. Oil is very power dense and it's in liquid form. Methane is in a gaseous form and so transporting it is extremely hard. Natural gas requires a pipeline whereas oil can just use trucks. However, in order to get to the oil, you have to get rid of the natural gas. And what has happened in the industry is oil producers are now actually just burning off that natural gas because it's become a byproduct just to get to the oil. If we weren't here at this site, they would be flaring off this natural gas and burning it in a little torch on the well site. Instead, what we do is we take that natural gas and we redirect it to a natural gas generator and we're able to combust that to create electricity to mine Bitcoin all on the actual well pad. What we see with natural gas flaring and natural gas venting is you see you have a lot of methane leaking out into the environment. Well over 20 or 30 percent of all greenhouse gases and heat trapping is attributed to methane. And so what we're doing is actually preventing that methane from ever leaking into the environment. And in my research group we've done studies showing that flares um, unfortunately convert some of the carbon from the methane into uh, particles, black carbon particles that are very harmful for us to breathe and, and cause their own health and air pollution problems. So when people are looking for solutions that don't just vent the methane and don't just flare the methane but actually turn it into some other useful purpose, that's something we want to see. That's, that's a positive, that's a good thing. If but I would like to see um, limits where oil would only be drilled for, where you have a plan of how you're going to uh, deal with the uh, with the water that gets produced with it that you only drill where you have a way of dealing with Gas that isn't venting it isn't isn't flaring that, that gets the gas into into a broader pipeline System that you limit your effects on seismicity that you make sure you're not using fracking fluids that uh, That might have toxic or poisonous effects on the local groundwater. So to me um, It should be a privilege to be able to drill for oil and it should only happen in places where all those other safeguards are in place.